proceed. We are now going to use the podium. So we are not going to go very far. We have to start implementing the strategy now. It's yet another strategy to cope the excesses of insurgents in the Lake Chad Basin. The opening of this uh, validation exercise. It's the conference of ministers from member countries. Countries represented here are the Central African Republic, Chad, Cameroon, Nigeria, Niger and Libya. They are holding multifaceted talks on ways of ending Boko Haram insurgency in their various countries. Nigeria is the chief host of the conference. It's not to know that the massive internal and cross-border displacements engendered by the activities of the second region prompted the African Union Commission and the Lecture Basin Commission to develop the stabilization strategy with the aim of bringing lasting peace to the area by reintegrating former members of the sect into the fabric of the society, among others. The Commission Secretariat provided an insight on the strategy document to be discussed. With this high-level political buy-in, it is our wish and hope that each of the affected countries will be ready to embrace and implement the strategy without any delay. It is also our wish that the strategy will meet the expectations of our international uh, partners, donors, and spur them into action by providing the necessary support to ensure the success of the program. The conference has the backing of the United Nations and the African Union. Despite these challenges, we must all forge ahead and not forget that the sub-region has historically been a hub of transnational trade and prosperity. Using the Lake Chad as a conduit for economic activities, communities around the Lake Chad region have had strong sub-regional ties with interdependent and mutually beneficial economic relationships. We must not forget this history of the sub-region. This history provides hope for millions of people that things might one day get better. It also provides a precedence for uniting communities, ethnicities and regions that have been torn apart by years of conflict and violence. For us it is very, very important as part of our prevention, uh, conflict prevention and conflict management, for us to have this strategy and we really thank our partnership with the United Nations uh, in this. Uh, our partnership with the United Nations is growing. We have signed two MOUs with the United Nations on Peace and Security. We have also signed one on development. So we're very happy with this. As all of us know, the solution to the problem of insurgency, of the fight against terrorism and the fight against Boko Haram, is multifaceted. We cannot deal with it only on the political, uh, on the military, uh, only with military action. So for us, this process is very important where we look at several pillars. And I want to tell you that the African Union is very, very committed and that the chairperson is absolutely committed, like I said, as a citizen of the lecture uh, base. The participating countries are hoping to have a respite from insurgency after adopting the strategies put forward to make the Lake Chad area economically viable and more secured. Emmanuel Bagudu, PTV News, Abuja.